Hey, hello, Corners family. Uh, welcome to uh, episode two, I guess, of uh, a ginger beer with Dale, my bro. Ginger ale. Welcome back again. Cheers, uh, cheers. Yeah, thanks for coming up again and uh, helping us stack the bar and you know doing do our mahi once again. Uh, bro, we're looking out the field here today, and uh, she's she took a bit of a, a bit of a pounding last week, we could say, but um, made it all, all the fun was had, right? That we were looking looking to have and. Bro, do you want to should we just jump straight into actually having a bit of a chat about about last weekend? I yeah. was obviously out with the woman at, at Otara, so um, I missed a lot of the fun, so I can't wait to hear about it, bro. Yeah, yeah, so it was really good to start off with our under sixes, um, under sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. Uh, they all played at the same time. Uh, we actually had uh, Dan, who, who managed to make us some, some mini goalposts. Mm -hmm. um, we set up at two games on this field and two games on, on field number two. Um, and it just made it feel like they were having a real game. You know, they had their mini goalposts. They all ran out of the, the changing rooms as we wanted them to, um, and just built the hype around them. You know, running out or every every yep. single team. It was really really cool. Really cool. And that was that was the goal lad about uh, from from start to finish was was to because I, I will say I wasn't here for the games, but I did see did see the morning with the, with the setup and yep. saw the kids running out and. It was it was everything I say it was everything you hoped for everything awesome. you uh, the, the picture you painted it was that and yeah. more uh, yeah rain how it shine it was yeah, the fun was there and the post looked awesome that set the stage yeah so, set the stage. so big up to Dan and uh, the firm and uh, our, our scaffold connect I think yeah. I think that's who might have supplied the the uh, pipes to make those posts yeah. so and we still got them too so. yeah we we, we use them every time so yeah, yeah uh, shot Dan Dan the man hey um, yeah so um, moving forward bro um, this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, congratulations on last weekend. That's um, you know put a lot of work into that. You and your you and your team was behind the scenes there. So congratulations, and um, let's let's carry on doing that moving forward. But let's uh, have a chat about this weekend. Obviously the fields out here. Not sure what's going to happen with um, fields around the place. What the council's going to do. But uh, what's on the cards down at Health Domain this week? Uh, so tomorrow, uh, I'm just going to say that we're playing. So. Tomorrow we've got the under sevens playing um, and also the under tens both playing or both hosting uh, the Leopards. So um, that'll be cool as long as the council opens its grounds. Um, it should be good. I think we've got two two playing over in Pokokura, uh, the under eights and the under nines, I think, are playing over there. Um, and then over here we've got our 12s and 14s playing as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna have a, have a few games here. Um, as well as it's our top side's last home game, so um, it'll be a good time to get up mm. into the club. And yeah, support. and just on that, now once again we love our segways, and it's a great one once again into what um, you know every weekend seems to be a pretty special occasion. We don't have to spin it very far for that for that to be the case up here at Paparoa. Mm. Um, this weekend is um, that once again, and I'm sure people have seen. On, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, through people's chats, and there's been a lot of noise about it. The the top side of um, absolutely, oh, and the Rizzies and all the staff behind the scenes, absolutely, absolutely smashed out um, all the planning and all the organising to to put on. Look, I'm even a little bit emotional when I talk about this because um, what they've done for the cause they're they're doing this for it's it's a, it's a big deal to uh, to a lot of us, and um, you know, bringing bringing awareness this weekend to and raising some funds for um, for for breast cancer. Yep. Um, Kevy in our in our top side, the head trainer, um, his partner Hilda, um, and his family are, are they going through that at the moment. And yeah, as a club, uh, we're gonna yeah, band together, uh, keep behind them as we do. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen this stuff, uh, have a look on online. There's some bank account details there. There's you know, there's a night already planned, I believe it's sold out, but there's some bank account details there we'll, uh, you can donate to. It's a great cause. Um, it's going to a champion family, champion man who does, you know, a lot a lot for our top side. And, um, you know, and, and bring, our juniors too. Yeah, and our juniors yeah, too. yeah, it brings a lot of energy around this club. So, um, so yeah, Chet, Kibby, uh, we've got your back, bro. Um, Cheer, brother. Yeah, so that, that's what's going on here. Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Week. Um, check it out, get behind it. Uh, we're looking to make it happen, uh, an annual event, um, yeah, because that's what we do at the Hornets, oh, right? We're, we're far more than just 80 minutes on the field, yeah. eh? So, yeah. And, and women, especially, all, all, all our women, um, you know, they're the backbone of, of, of the club, of, I know my wife is, is you know, 
couldn't do things without my wife, and I'm sure um, each husband and partner could say the same about the wife. So. Yeah, I think Rooka said it best at a prize giving um, a couple of weeks ago when he said um, no house is, is complete without, the, without a man and a woman and yeah. uh, I guess that goes with, with that home and, and this is our home here, this is our, you know, this is everyone, all of our second home. So um, that, go, that goes, you know, without that's yeah. life, eh? So yeah, that's, um, that's something massive that's happening this weekend. So get along here once again, fill the bank. Um, who cares about the rain? Bring your umbrellas. Yeah, let's make some noise. Let's get behind this. Wear your pink shirts, yeah, that, hence, hence why I'm dressed like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, just bring a bit of awareness to the thing. Uh, yeah, so yeah, get behind it. Um, throw some money in the cart, bring some money along. Get into that big fish raffle. Yeah, are we, still, going. are we still going? Yeah, still going. A couple, few tickets left, so that hopefully sells out this weekend and we can draw it. Yeah. Yeah, so I can win it. Um, yeah, nah, well, that, that sounds awesome. Um, hopefully the council keep our fields open and yeah, we get to some footy this week. Yeah, but it will, it will be what it will be. Um, with uh, everyone will know we've got uh, we've got the Warriors on tonight, but we also have uh, um, our under 11s are doing a disco um, up here tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, they're fundraising for Crossroads, so um, they, they were fundraising last week, and I think they're also doing the tuck shop for for our games tomorrow here That's at Little Park. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh, parents are looking for somewhere to take their kids for an hour or two. Um, bring them up to the club. I'm um, pretty sure the under 11s have got um, a whole heap of exciting, fun things to do for the kids. So it's been going well, eh? That, that um, those tuck shops and yeah, yeah that, that takes two takes two to tango. There it takes the team to put the effort yeah, in. It also right. takes the supporters to yeah. uh, come and support that because it is uh, they're so excited about the sh these, their trips to Christchurch. Oh and that. yeah, um, any fundraising is you yeah. know it's good. It's good for our kids and. But this is this this one cause they especially giving them a way to, to play some footy down yep. the South Island. Yep. And that yeah, they, they can't wait. So yeah, thank you everyone for supporting them. Uh the kids are our future and they 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 love being at the Hornets and, and you know the support they get is a big part of that. So yep. so cheers to you all. Um yep, we'll have a great Friday. Let's say go the Warriors, I'm the Tigers fan, so go the Tigers. <laughs> up the Wars. Yeah, oh, man, up I'm the going, Hornets. I'm going to the game. But yeah, yeah, up the Hornets. Up, up the firm. Yep. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers Dominic. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers.